Uh, hi, my name is Timothy Dignam. I'm an IDT graduate. Uh, I just finished last year, 2020, 2021. Um, I finished the 3D design model making digital art course. Um, and I would love the opportunity to upskill um, and learn how to make proper real silicone masks. Uh, this was the one of the mask making experiences I had, which was in the third year of college. Um, this was the, we had to make a, a maquette and a latex mask based around a character that we designed. This was a, a turtle from D&D &D, and I made my own character around it. But this was the mask firm that I came up with. Uh, and it was sculpted out of clay. Uh, I think a lot of people were using a Chavant and monster clay, but I, I thought for this application, just because there was so much actual material, uh, it was a lot cheaper and a lot easier for me to use just air drying clay. And it worked out really well. Um, it was something thinner and that I probably would have used Chavant or Monster Clay, uh, but I quite like working with this and it's a very nice simple process with the crystal cal plaster and uh, you get a really nice result, although I would like the chance to uh, you know, do a bit more detail like the hair punching and such and just uh, get more experience with using an airbrush, especially silicone paints, uh, which are a bit trickier to work with with the typical acrylics. Um, but yeah, the reason I want to upskill is uh, I started working for a company uh, called Blue Box Displays, which do a lot of the props and masks for uh, Nightmare Realm and other things, advertising. Um, but they've asked me to make a lot of masks and it's something I've always been interested in. Uh, so I'd like to upskill and learn how to make proper silicone ones um, instead of these latex ones. Not that there's anything wrong with the latex ones. Um, I just think there's a lot more you can do with silicone. Um, but these are very useful and versatile. But thank you for looking at my application, and I hope to hear from you soon.